just as a quick uh, warning, that's the word, this video may involve a lot of the word poop. No actual images of poop, but just a lot of mention to poop because I guess I told the son it's something about my stomach. But yeah, just want to get that out of the way so that if anyone can't handle the idea of poop or whatever, you can leave. Okay, so my stomach has a lot of issues and I mentioned this in at least one other video, which is my energy shift video, which I will link somewhere, definitely in the description if nowhere else. And I have three different types of stomach issues. One is physical, where I have physical problems that cause stomach problems. Then there's also mental, which is mostly my anxiety causing it. And I'm sure if any of you have experienced a major amount of anxiety, you can relate to that in one way or another. And then the last one is spiritual, and I'm going to be talking about all of them in this video, just so because... I think it's a really good idea to mention them and to explain it, and because it was requested too. So I'm going to start with physical. When I get physical pain, it's usually either because of my GERD, which I've had for years and years now, or it's because I'm lactose intolerant and I had something with dairy in it that day. And when I get that, usually it starts in my stomach like right at the center of my belly button or sometimes a little bit higher up and slowly it will move down my stomach until it fi finally comes out and with that you get something of force depending on what it is there can be poop diarrhea constipation gas throwing up a lot of shit and it's not any fucking fun now when it's mental, I get it all right in the pit of my stomach. Like, I'm going to try to show this without seeming too awkward. Right here is where I'll get it if it's physical or higher up maybe sometimes. And then, like right here, that's where I get it if it's mental or if it's spiritual. Now if it's mental, it can cause symptoms, but... Not always. It's a bit tricky. If it's mental, it can come with something like diarrhea or gas, but not always. It's not 100% guaranteed. You never know. But if it's spiritual, usually you won't unless, like I was having in that video that I mentioned in my energy shift, I was going, it was coming out of everywhere. I was having diarrhea, I was having gas, I was throwing up. It was really fucking bad, though I didn't throw up that much. I don't usually throw up very often. But a lot was coming out of me. And for me personally, when it comes to spirit, to working with spirits or with spirit work in general, that doesn't happen very often. That's, you know, um, there was one other time, but that's not one time that happened that it wasn't affected by my anxiety that stuff actually came out. Usually when it's spiritual instead, I get more like signs, like I will, a very common one for me is music starts playing on any of my electronic devices and it's kind of weird but it's also super comforting because a lot of the time when it's a good spirit especially that'll happen and they'll play a song that's just really comforting to me and which is just really nice because that's actually a nice gesture. I don't think I know many living people who would actually do that for me. But also, with the spiritual stuff, I get two different types of feelings in my stomach. If it's a good spirit, then it's like fluttery, like, you know how they say butterflies in your stomach if you have a crush on someone or something? I think it's something like that, but only in that one specific part of my stomach. And if it's a bad spirit, if you get that anxiety pain that I get in my stomach, you already know what it is. And if not, it's just the thing pressing deep into your stomach. And sometimes it feels like it may be a lot of poop about to come out. And if you haven't guessed, I poop a fucking lot. But sometimes it feels like that. And other times it's just indescribable. Like, it's just something pushing on you and hurting you. And for me personally, 
It depends. I mean, for anyone, I guess it would depend because it stays for so long. And this isn't something that I get just from spirits because for me personally, I'm empathetic. I have always been. It runs on my mom's side. My mom used to be, but she shut hers down for whatever reason. I don't understand why because personally, I find it very helpful to have empathy. And I know that my grandmother had that. I don't know about any of my mom's sisters or whatever, but I know that those two people in my family at the very least had it. And they would also get it, and they just say, oh, something's going to happen. And sometimes it goes more than that. Like, when I was 19, I want to say, maybe 20, I told my mom that on her birthday we were going to go to the police station because of my birth father. And sure enough, on her birthday, we went to the fucking police station and got his ass arrested. But it really depends too on a person. Some people have empathy, and some people, I don't know if you can train empathy or not. I don't know too much on that. But I know that you can grow your psychic abilities the more that you work on. And for me personally, I have always had this, the youngest I can remember, I was four years old. And I just knew something about was going to happen, and then it did happen. Once in a while I get about good things, but that's pretty rare, so I'm very grateful for those things. And that's about it for this video. I think I said I mentioned everything I wanted to mention. However, I'm going to try to start making videos again because I didn't want to make them anyway, but I haven't really thought of a way to come back into them. And I think that this is actually a really good way.